cut, just like from the uncut movie. I figured Stevie Nixel. Stevie Nix is just a ba or goat. How oh, could I feel corny? Hope you hope that um that little <laughs> funny <laughs> introduction that I made. Um, whatever the heck that was, just go over with the ba, which is supposed to be um basically um what's his name? Crud Hank Hank Hill for Kim the Hill's voice. That's because I just want to do something random. So, I don't have that much storage on my phone, unfortunately, but I do want to talk about what it's like being alone, aka loneliness. Basically, um, you know, with the quarantine virus thing going on, um, it, it can be a little bit hard. And plus, my brother's actually taking a shower, by the way, plus he works like half the day. Um, as a person that has no friends, it can be very complicated, plus I feel like I just want to film, like, on, like, on my bed. I think the lighting is good and I need to force my face too. Um, it's just that for me, since I don't know when was the last time I even hang out with anyone, it felt a little bit stressful and it felt like my mind was running crazy because of how people don't really seem to like care to reach out to me or they actually want to be a friend, yeah, they actually make excuses of how like, oh, they're busy, like, um, can I just call you back or can I just message you later? And then I said, sure, and then next thing you know, um, like, how do I say it? They just don't want to, like, call me back or anything. And plus, I might need to call that guy that I met on Amigo, that native guy, because I did record our conversation as well. So if he doesn't call me tonight, I'll just tell him, like, okay, this is not going to work. And I hope that you're doing well, because it's like, I thought he might be interested, you know, to be a friend, but... If he just doesn't want to bother, like, talking to me then, then, like, what's the point? Especially since, you know, like, he doesn't, like, really, or he already has his friends. And I think that's what I hate the most about people a lot, is how it seems they're superior just because they have a group of friends. It's kind of like your relationship, like, you're taken, but in a platonic way. <laughs> Which means if you have, sorry, because it says I have autism, I tend to stim a lot. When you basically have, what's the same for an example, three or four friends. You're not going to bother opening up any more people just because, oh, you know what, I already have a group of friends. Why should we just invite you? And for me personally, you know, I, as bad as it sounds to actually have my autistic meltdown at Walmart a couple of days ago, I do feel like I was severely alone. Like, people don't, people just find me as crazy that's because I was just going to do a bad night during that time and then that guy has told me to come down or well he said to say something where like no one is looking at you or whatever he's voicing his voice and then um the worker that I know because I, I you know we talk to her whenever I see her she basically trying to like to hunt to be quiet and he just just like walked off like, he's just buried in everyone else just because I have a mental illness and he may not you know I don't know who the heck this man is and then a couple actually just being rude just because they want to give me a few feet because of the quarantine uh, thing. I, I even asked politely and they, she just blew off and I even filmed them because I just had enough. So I'm just surprised that the workers at Walmart didn't mind me filming them. But what I'm just trying to say is it's hard just to open myself up to people when they feel they don't want to. How much time do I got left? Okay, so, so I put that three minutes. I feel way more isolated when I see people just laughing and going out places and restaurants. I mean, like, when I go to Walmart, I just see, like, a couple of cute guys, how they're just laughing and just walking together. I felt so hurt. It's like someone just, like, stepped a darn butter knife drop on my darn bony chest because I, I didn't have that experience for I don't know how long. I think even, like, when I was in high school, maybe just once, I... Like, literally had an experience to even go to someone's house just to play the, the Wii U with them. And that was, like, one of the best experiences I've ever had because I think I remembered, okay, that's probably one of the only experiences I had. I basically stayed until, like, at night, which is a wonderful experience because I know how it's like to, well, he wasn't really that close, but... Like, if I had a friend, that's how it feels. A friend is basically a person that has a platonic 
connection with you. They'll listen to your problems. Um, you can basically just like, you know, just express your emotional baggage towards them and cry on their shoulder. It's just basically a person that you like, but without like any like sexual emotions. This any platonic way, nothing sexual or anything, like an emotional way. I yeah, I just don't know how it's like having another friend. I mean since you know, when I was in high school, I think I was sixteen when I had um twenty five. And that was only for one night. But man, having that every day, that would be a wonderful experience. And I just felt hurt when that guy, I mean, his, he didn't do anything wrong. It's just that I felt isolated when he says, oh, I can, um, can you call me back or whatever. I just told him, sure. I just felt so frustrated. I even, like, you know, hang up immediately as soon as he about to say something because I felt like, oh, he doesn't want to talk? Well, he doesn't want to be friends with me? I, would, I mean, I just almost want to kill myself just feeling that because I feel... I don't have a purpose just to be someone's friend. If I was dead now, people would just say, oh, well, if only I could do something just to be his friend. They, they don't care to hear that. And that's the point. That's how us people that are suicidal or clinically depressed feel. How much time I got left? Sorry about that. I don't leave time myself. I got a minute left. But I just want to say that's how I feel. Like alone. 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 Like how screwers is actually... You know, having that scene. And then, like, bah! I just felt dead. But I'm alive. I feel like a zombie because my body is just craving just to get attention from someone in a fr friendly way. And I feel I don't, I won't even have that. <sighs> Especially with this quarantine thing going on. You know, it doesn't do anything because we can still go out. Um, like, just go out for a walk, whatever. Yeah, I'm surprised that Arizona's not that bad, but that's how I feel for not having any friends, and I just accept that this will be like this until who knows how long, I suppose. <sighs> Besides that, I just wanted to share a little bit of the uh, my house. I need to put that Italian flag. I know I didn't get a chance to do that yet, but that's what how, that's what it is like being a lonely person with no friends.